Our class is going to begin. Thank you for coming tonight. We're going to, going to begin in standing. I want to make sure that I'm not blurry again. Welcome everyone to Hatha Yoga. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next hour. Nice to see everyone. Our focus for our class is reflection. You may reflect on your breath. You may reflect on your balance. You may reflect on your flexibility or movement throughout the class, paying attention, being self-aware, not self-conscious. Being self-conscious is the opposite of being self-aware. Moving through the class, being fully within ourselves, not looking at ourselves from the outside in, Beginning our class in sun salutation, we will have moments of stillness so that we are able to reflect. Coming to the top of the mat, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Draw the tailbone down. Engage your bandhas, so drawing your navel in towards the spine, lifting up through the pelvic floor muscle. And I'll cue you for those pelvic floor muscles for our class to really help to engage your pelvic floor muscles too. Take the hands down by the sides with your thumbs turning towards the thumb, to the front. Draw the shoulders up, back, and down. Do that again. Up, back, and down. One more time. Now draw the chin in so that your ears are in line with your shoulders. Standing tall. Engage your quadriceps. So think about drawing the kneecaps up towards your hips or your toes facing forward. Our first sun salutation. Inhale, draw the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. The ujjayi breath is really important here now. Inhale, come up to a flat back. Let's do this two more times. Exhale, release, fold, head hang. Inhale, come up to a flat back, bend the knees enough to help keep that back flat. Exhale, release. Inhale, come up to flat back halfway. Exhale, plank. Chaturanga. We jump the body forward. You may come down to the knees or legs straight, fold into the ground. Uncurl the toes. Pubic bone down. Draw the navel in, lift up through the pelvic floor muscles with an inhale breath coming up to up dog. Exhale, release, fold. Do that two more times. Push down through the tops of the feet. Inhale, up. Pull the navel in. Exhale, release. Elongate through the spine. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Alternating knee bends through downward facing dog. Warming up through our hamstrings. Drawing your pelvis up towards the sky. Now bend through the knees. Look to the hands. Walk the feet forward. Toes facing forward, ankles, knees, hips in line. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold, head hangs. Inhale, sit the arms up overhead, strong through your foundation. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. Chaturanga. Again, you can come down to the knees or legs straight. Inhale, up dog, engage your bandhas. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now here, finding that stillness and focusing on your breath, reflecting.
Next, exhale, breath, bend to the knees, lift to the hands, walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift, that flat back again. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sit your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center, stand tall again. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drawing your heels closer to the ground. Exhale, breath, bend through the knee, look to the hands, walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit your arms up overhead. Exhale. Relax through your shoulders. Feel your foundation again. Just want to make sure that I'm still okay. Not worry. Finding that stillness here, close your eyes. Placing the right hand into the left hand, pushing the sun into the moon, coming together. Find the balance from within. You draw the hands to your heart center. Opening up the eyes. Namaskara B, sun salutation B. Inhale, draw the arms up overhead as you come into a squat. Holding here. With your inhale breath, make your way back up. Exhale, sweep your arms the opposite way. Okay, now bring your big toes together. Your reflection may be on your balance. Inhale to squat, namaskar B. Exhale, come up and dive forward. Sweep those arms down and inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plank. Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, breath, bend through the knees. Step the right to meet the, sorry, step your right foot towards the front. Inhale, strong lunge. Lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, fold. Exhale, hold. With the inhale breath, Come up and then exhale downward facing tall into the left side. Bend through the left knee. You can come into three legged dogs. So sweep the left leg up to the sky and then step forward between the halves. Push the right heel back. Coming up with the inhale breath. Nice high lunge. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Push the right heel back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Your exhale breath leads you back, bend through the knees and walk the feet forward, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, come into squat, fierce posture, hold. And then exhale all the way up, arms come around the opposite way. Inhale, second sun salutation, namaskar V. Come to fierce posture, squat. Exhale, come up and dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, chaturanga, a little bit quicker here, jutting the body forward and lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog, take the right leg up. Exhale, step between your hands. High lunge, inhale up. Focus on that movement. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here, find that stillness. Use your breath. Your head hangs. Exhale breath leads us back. Bend to the knees, walk, step, or jump the feet back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale to squat. Exhale, up, and take the arms the opposite way. Hands to the heart center. Find that moment of stillness. Placing the right hand into the left hand. The right hand is the sun. Left hand is the moon. Drawing those energies together. Feeling those energies through your body flowing. Opening up your eyes. Place your hands onto the hips, bend to the knees. Step or do a little jump out with your ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Folding forward here, taking our arms sweeping up overhead. And with your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes as you fold forward, bending the knees enough so that your back will be straight. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Take the elbows up to the side and your head hangs. Inhale, breath. Releasing the toes, walk the hands forward. Exhale, breath, come up to halfway lift, and then place your hands on your hips. Inhale, all the way up, small back bend, elongate through the spine, feel your foundation. Exhale, releasing, standing tall. Inhale, another forward fold, draw the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, down with the palms of the hands. Take them underneath the balls of the feet. Your toes are right to the wrist crease. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold, elbows drawing them out to the sides. Head is hanging. Feeling the balls of your feet, your soles of the feet into the hands, pressing down. Inhale, breath, releasing the hands. Just coming forward with the hands. Exhale, breath, come up to halfway lift, and then you're flat back. 
hands onto the hips. Inhale, all the way up, draw the heart up, small back bend. Exhale, release. Okay, standing tall again. Letting all of those energies flow throughout your body. Then place your hands onto your hips. Bend the knees, step the right foot back and all the way back for the distance between your feet. I'd like it to be your one leg -like distance. Trikonasana, take the heel down to the ground, line up your heels. Inhale, draw the shoulders up. I draw your arms up to shoulder height and then jut the body forward. Left leg is straight, or knees bend, and then rotate the body open towards the front. Hand comes down into the front. You may tend the fingers if you're on the ankle, finding the right height for you. Your head is forward or a little change, looking at your thumb. So turn your head towards your thumb. Turn your head back and with a nice inhale coming up. Exhale, bend to the knees and step right to meet the left and shift the hips. Okay, to the other side. I'm just gonna turn this side so that you can see me opening up. Bend through the knees and step the right foot back. Trikonasana, triangle pose on this side. Take that heel down to the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height and jut the body forward, reach forward, and then exhale, rotate through your body into that lovely triangle here, finding your balance. Take time to reflect. Turn your head towards your thumb, shooting the energy out, energy out through your fingers. Take the head back towards the front of the inhale, coming up. Exhale, bend to the knees and step left to move the right. Shift through the body. At the top of our mat again. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Bend to the knees, step the right foot back. Same distance as before, rotate on that heel down. Okay. Extended side angle. And then we're going to take our right arm up. Sweep it up overhead, relax through the shoulders. So take the shoulders away from the ears. Take the left arm, forearm down towards the leg. Left knee is pointing straight ahead and then turn your body and then open up towards the front. You can take the arm away and take your hand down towards the ground, keeping your, your waist long. Waist long on both sides. So if you notice that you're squishing into the left side, just come up a little bit higher. And then take that right arm, left arm down to the ground. So take your hands down on either side of the foot. Holding here, revolve, extended angle. Take the right hand down to the ground. You can use, I have a lovely little walk here. You can use a block so that the, there's a nice height for your hand to rest. Take the left hand onto the left hand. Taking that time to set yourself up and then rotate your body towards the left. Left hand may come away from the hip and shooting the energy out through the fingers. So they come out of the twist, twisting back. Take your hands down to the ground and then inhale breath coming all the way up so when the right arm left arm up 
bend to the knees, and then step right to meet the left exhale. Into the other side for extended side of angle. Bend to the knees, step the left foot back. Distance between your feet, your one leg distance, rotate and that foot heel down. Inhale, draw your arms up to shoulder height, right knee points straight ahead, and then exhale, rotate, take the left arm up and over. You can take the right arm away from the leg, come a little bit lower, long through the waist. Coming out of this side angle to revolved extended side angle. Take your hands down to the floor on either side of the foot. You can use a block. You may tend the fingers or your hand is down to the ground with that left hand. Take your right hand onto the right hip. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twisting over to the right side. Right hand and come away from the hip. Your drishti may be at looking at your right thumb. Turn your head back, take the hand back with a nice inhale breath. Wiggle the left arm and right arm up. Exhale, bend through the knees and step left to meet. The right chest and hips at the top of our mat again. Core pyramid. Bending through the knees, set the right foot back. The distance is not as great between the feet. So finding what's going to work for you. The left knee may be bent or leg is straight. Take your hands behind your back. And this time, hold on to your hands. The closer your palms are together, the bigger opening you're going to feel into the shoulders. If this is not going to work for you, so not accessible for you, it's too big of an opening maybe into your, your shoulders or your chest, then you can hold on to the elbows. Inhale, breath, small back bend. The upper part of our back, we lean back, shine your heart up. Exhale, fold forward. Here we take our, our arms up and over big arch, looking at your big toe. So this is where lots of balance, lots of that self-awareness is going to come into play. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> With the inhale breath, make your way back up. Back bend, small back bend. Exhale, release to warrior three. Take the right foot off the ground, lifting your foot off the ground, right foot off the ground, both legs straight. Now, flex the right foot. Fly, 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 fly. And then release, take that right foot down to the ground and then step right to the left. It is really fun to <laughs> that pose. Oh, okay, changing side. Bend the, the knees and step left, foot back to pyramid. Okay, now we know what's coming up, more balance. So draw inward. Your hands behind the back, hold on, intertwine your fingers, so hold on to your hands, palms closer together, or the elbows. Inhale, small back bend. Exhale, fold. Arms coming up and over, big arch.
Inhale, breath coming all the way up. Small back bend. Exhale, warrior three. Take the left foot off the ground. Straightening both legs. Lift the left foot off that ground. Off the ground. Flex your foot. Arms by the sides, or your arms are forward. Legs straight. Left toes down to the ground, and then slowly release. Step left down, and then to the front. Shift the hips. Okay, standing B, forward fold. Bend to the knees, and step right foot straight back. And then turn on the ball of the foot with your toes facing forward. And then turn on the left heel, and toes facing forward here. So forward fold here, legs in a V. Inhale breath, arms up overhead. Exhale breath, dive forward. Bend the knees to help keep the back straight if needed. Inter take your peace fingers and wrap, wrap them around your big toes like we did before when we did this full forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Drawing the crown of your head down to the ground. Being in, turning inward. Inhale breath. Release your toes, take your hands forward, walk your hands forward. Now walking our hands back, they're parallel with our feet. Your elbows will be drawn in towards the center, pointing towards the back wall. Inhale breath, lengthen through the spine. Exhale breath, fold forward, the crown of the head, the goal is to place it on the floor. Bend your knees enough to help keep the back flat. Getting closer to the ground. Inhale, breath. Leading us forward, coming out, walk your hands forward. Inhale and then exhale, come up to halfway lift and flat back. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale all the way up, small back bend. Exhale, releasing, bend through the knees and step right to meet the left. Okay, lovely. Tree pose, balance pose here. You may come off the mat, finding a hard surface because it's easier for your balance, or you can be on your mat too. You may hold onto something to retreat. Okay, turning your right knee out and opening up. Place your, bring your arms up overhead and then to your heart. Now here we can pick up our right foot, place it onto the calf, over inner thigh, never the knee, never your joints, foot lining, where it will be accessible for you. Being self-aware. Turning inward, fully inward. Growing your tree. So taking your arms up overhead, you may part your hands. Take your hands back to the heart center, standing tall. And then take, take the knee back towards the front. Extend your leg straight into the air. Flex your foot. 
And then take your right foot down to the ground, shift through the hips. Okay, into the other side. Okay, turn the left knee out, the ball of the foot down to the ground. Hands to your heart center, stand tall. Use the left hand to place your foot onto your calf or your inner thigh. Stand tall. Looking through third eye at a spot that's not moving. Different balance cues, finding what works for you. Take your hands above your head, growing your tree. Your hands may part. Take your hands back to the heart center. Turning inward, turning inward. Turn your knee back towards the front. Extend your legs straight forwards. Flex the foot, stand tall. Then take your foot down to the ground and shift through the hips. Okay, wonderful. Into, you may come onto the mat or still that hard surface for dancer's pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart center. Find your center. Turn your right hand out, picking up your right foot. Now you can hold on to the ankle. You can hold, finding what's going to work for you, you can hold on to the inner part of your foot, draw your left arm up overhead. Now flex the right foot, makes it stronger. And start kicking your foot away, leaning forward. Everything is drawing in as you are reaching forward and then kicking that foot up higher. Keep drawing in. Slowly come back to the center and releasing your foot, shift through the body. And remember balance, it's a little bit harder on your, your mat. So finding what's working for you, finding your focus, turning inward. Okay, inhale, draw your arms up overhead into the other side. Exhale, hands to the heart center. So find that center. Okay, release your left hand away. Lift the left foot, hold on to the ankle. You may hold on to the inner foot. Flex your foot. Take the right arm up overhead. Now, holding forward and kicking your leg up higher as you pull into the center of the body. Flex the foot. Right leg straight. Keep kicking. Slowly come back to the center. Release your foot and shift through the body. Okay. Eagle, our next pose. Taking the right foot and then you're lifting your right leg up and over the left foot. And then it'll be the right arm going under the left arm. So first of all, Sitting down into the squat with your hands to your heart center. Now here, you may take the right leg and lift it up over the left leg and cross and wrap your right foot around the left foot. Now you can come onto the hard surface again. You can take the right arm, wrap it underneath around the left arm Draw the arms up and then pull down. You can take the right toes down towards the ground too. Your foot does not have to be wrapped around the calf. So 
slowly releasing and we fly our, our eagle, warrior three. And then slowly release and shift. Okay, eagle on the other side. Sitting down into your squat, place your hands to the heart center. Take the left leg up and over the right leg and wrap it around the knee again. Take the foot, wrapping it around the calf. Take the left arm underneath the right arm and wrap your arms around each other. Left toes may be down to the ground too, not wrapping. Take your arms up and then pull down, release to the shoulders. Let's fly our eagle, so releasing and fly our eagle. Take the left leg up, warrior three. Flex the foot and then slowly release. Okay, all right, Malasana. So taking the feet wider than the hips, sitting down into a low squat here. Taking your hands to the heart center, taking that moment of stillness here, draw the tailbone down towards the ground. Your back is tall. So you elongate the spine. Opening up through your groin, opening up through the inner thighs here, pushing your elbows in towards the inner thighs, so opening up. Your toes turn out. Opening up through the eyes. Okay. And then slowly make your way up. So your hands can come forward and then take your bottom up towards the sky. Head hangs. And then on the heels, lift, lift your toes up and then turn on the heels. And then you can heel toe your feet in towards the center with your ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. With an inhale breath, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, hold, head hangs. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Fierce posture, fierce pose one more time. So taking your big toes together. Get this one before their sun salutation. Inhale. Draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, sit down into fierce pose and hold. Inhale. And exhale. Lift up through the pelvic floor muscles. Engage your bundles. Inhale, breath. Coming all the way up. Draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay, bend, take your hands onto your hips, bend with the knees, and do a step or jump out with your ankles, knees, and hips in line with each other. A sun salutation, cleaning our pelvis, making our way to downward facing dog. Inhale, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Sun salutation A, inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground, step back with the right foot, left foot from like chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, downward facing dog. Hold. Now come into the balls of the feet into three legged dog. Take your right leg up. Three like a dog, and then exhale, bend to the knee, and then turn the right, come bring the knee forward, turn the right knee out to the right wrist for pigeon. I should have cued you pigeon first. <laughs> okay, hips are square. To help keep the hips square, your left toes are down to the ground. And if you like, 
find my left and my hips are square, I can uncurl the toes and have the top of my foot down to the ground. Okay, you can use a cushion for support underneath the right hip. Folding into sleeping pigeon. Placing the forehead down towards the ground. You may also stack your fists. If pigeon does not work for you, please lie on your back and you can cross the right ankle over top of the left knee for figure four. Making our way out of pigeon to downward facing dog. Three legged dog, left leg lifts up towards the sky, and then bend the knee and turn the left knee out to the left first. Pigeon on this side, square your hips, and then fold into the ground, forehead rests. Or are you doing figure four on your back? The left heel crossing over the right knee there. Slowly make your way out of pigeon, back to down facing dog. A three legged dog, right leg will lift, bend through the knee, flex your foot, and then turn your knee out, and then stacking your hips up on top of each other, opening up through the hips. Keep opening. And then slowly coming back to downward facing dog into the other side. Three legged dog, take the left leg up towards the sky, bend to the knee, flex your foot, and then turn your left knee open to the side, stacking your hips on top of each other. Looking underneath that left arm. Back to downward facing dog. And then back in and then into child's pose. So come down to your knees and then arms forward or arms by the side of the body, forehead rest. Make your way up to all fours and then turn so that you're sitting on your bottom and your legs are pointing towards the front. Into Dandasana, remove the fleshy part from your bottom. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Place your hands down to the ground. Your moment of stillness, draw your chin just into the chest a little ways. And lifts and opening up through the eyes into Pachimottanasana, and it's a forward fold here. If you have a band, you can place it around your feet, a strap, and then pull on your band with the forward fold. If not, it does not matter. You may hold onto your big toes with your peace fingers or the sides of the feet. With a nice inhale, we lift our arms up overhead 
Exhale, fold. You may also bend through the knees. Now finding where it's going to work for you. Let the head come down and find that stillness. Coming into yourself. You may be reflecting on your breath, your flexibility. With an inhale breath coming up, you can release the arms to coming up, sweeping up overhead. And exhale, releasing your hands down to the side, opening the legs up into a V. I'm just gonna turn <clears throat> to face, face you, sitting up tall, so a nice big V sit here. Inhale breath, coming up overhead with the arms. Exhale breath, fold forward. The arms come towards the front. I like to have my forearms down too, and then slowly work my way down. The goal is to have your forehead resting on the ground. It may also rest onto your hands. Inhale, coming up, arms may come up overhead, take a breath in, and exhale, and bring the hands to the heart center. Bending through the left knee, take your left foot into your inner thigh. Sit, inner right thigh. Inhale, breath, arms up overhead, and we pull forward over top of the right, right leg. You may have the hands wrapping around the bottom of your foot. You may use your strap, your band to, to hold on, and then you're sitting up tall and then pulling on the band. Forehead may rest down towards the ground. So just resting on your leg bone. Inhale, breath, coming up, and take your arms up overhead too. And exhale, releasing the left foot and taking the right foot into the inner thigh. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, right, left toes up to the side. Exhale, fold forward. Take your hands behind the foot, press them on top. Forehead making its way down. The body settles. Inhale, breath. Coming up. Exhale, breath. Releasing. And then take your feet together for butterfly. And shift through the pelvis. Just rock side to side. <clears throat> Rocking side to side. Enjoying this little movement. And letting your body enjoy it. And hold center. Okay, lying on our belly for bow pose. Lying on our belly. Right cheek resting 
on your mat, arms by your sides. So Shavasana on your tummy. Turn your right cheek to the mat. And then turn your head back to the front. You may have your nose or your chin down to the ground and then lift your head up and hold on to the right ankle with your right hand and then left hand holds on to the left ankle. Pull the navel in, lift up to the pelvic floor muscles and like dancer's pose, we kick away. So lifting your upper body up, lower body up, draw the navel in, elongate through the spine and kicking your legs away. Lifting up or bow, keep kicking, keep kicking, higher, higher, and then slowly release. Let the left cheek rest on the mat. Shavasana on your tummy. Slowly releasing, coming back to child's pose like we had before. So sit back, arms forward or arms by the side. <clears throat> and then coming up and turning your body, turning onto your bottom. Okay, here is where we are going to be getting ready for Shavasana. You may put on a blanket over your body. You can come onto the side of the body. You may lie on your back. You can have legs up the wall. Finding what's going to work for you. And then I'll just call you back shortly. So setting yourself up. In Shavasana, we close our eyes. Our facial muscles soften. Your body softens.
slowly, starting to wiggle your toes and your fingers, noticing your breath. Reflecting on how you feel now compared to the beginning of our class. If you're lying on your back, you can bend through the knees and take your right arm above overhead and roll over to your right side to fetal. Take a moment. Slowly making your way up to a comfortable seated position. Placing the sun, your right hand into the left hand, the moon, drawing your energies together. Feeling the energy move through your body. Thank you everyone for joining me and sharing your practice with me. Lovely to be able to take time to reflect. Namaste. You're welcome, Esther.